Welcome to Knot Wars, where we fit fishing's best knots in a head-to-head -head competition to determine which knot you can count on. Each week, we're going to tie and test two of the world's strongest fishing knots. The loser goes home. The winner advances to next week, where it faces another tough competitor. All Knot Wars will be conducted with the following lines. 15-pound Berkeley Trilene Transoptic Monofilament, 14-pound Berkeley Fireline in Flame Green, and trialing 100% fluorocarbon in 15 pound test. Over the next several weeks, we're gonna tie and test seven great knots for attaching a lure to line. The one that comes out on top will then face the fishing fool, an improved version of the Yumi knot and winner of the last Knot Wars competition. Then we launch into a new category, leader to line, and strive to find the best knot for attaching leader material to super line. Now you may recall we tested seven of these great knots a couple years back, but we've located some new options and want to put them to the test. The first knot in today's competition is the reverse improved clinch, and yes, you heard me right, it's the venerable improved clinch, but tied in reverse, and it was submitted by John Guerre. Hey, before we go any further, you should note that all knots in the line to lure competition this year have one thing in common. That is, the tag end of the line runs through the hook eye at least twice. We found that knots started this way are simply stronger than those with a single pass. Now here's how to tie the reverse improved clinch. This knot starts with the tag end running through the hook eye twice. And leaving yourself plenty of line to work with, run it back up the main line. From the top down, make six wraps around both lines, then run the tag end through the loop formed between the first and second wraps. Tighten first by pulling on the tag end to form the knot, and after moistening the knot with a bit of saliva, carefully draw it down to the hook. Now do you see why it's called the reverse improved clinch? That's because the wraps go down the line toward the hook, not up as in the standard version of the knot. Now the second competitor of the day is called the 3G knot, and it was submitted by Wayne Goldbeck of Waconia, Minnesota. Here's how you tie to the 3G. Start by running the tag end through the hook eye twice. Run the tag end up the main line and form a small loop that lays on top. Next, take the tag end and make three loops around both lines. Then insert the tag end through the middle of all loops from the opposite side. Moisten and tighten. Now this knot looks simple to tie and with practice it becomes a lot easier, but I found it difficult at first. Is it worth the effort? Well, let's find out. Well, I've got the trusty knot testing machine already set up. I've got the 3G on the right. I've got the reverse improved clinch on the left. Here goes. Well, we have a winner. The reverse improved clinch has beat the 3G knot. Now, the 3G performed very well with mono and fluorocarbon. However, it failed miserably with parade. And you know what that means. The reverse improved clinch knot moves on to next week where it faces another tough competitor in the porter knot. By the way, if you'd like to practice a 3G, the reverse improved clinch, or any of the knots featured in the Knot Wars, simply visit fishingclub.com and click on Knot Wars. Knot Wars, because no good fish story ends in a broken knot. <laughs>